Yes, one of my <laughs> heroes of the faith right there um, is Athanasius for sure. So when you mentioned that, um, I think on Facebook or uh, Instagram, I can't remember now, it was like, yeah, yes, I oh my goodness. I was <laughs> you so asked for reformers. I went, well, you know, reformers. I mean, that's and... even better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Pro like... Proto-reformer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, that's a, just a wonderful point too to say like, I mean, it is good to read the people of today. And like, I agree with you, you know, R.C. Sproul and, and MacArthur, but before I would want to get into those guys, I do think it would be helpful for people if they want to start somewhere, mm -hmm. if they started way back when with these, with the people that you just listed with the ideas that you were just giving and Athanasius mm -hmm. and um, Justin Martyr. One, one of my favorite um, things to do is to read the uh, Patristic Fathers writings because it's free too. <laughs> um, and, or you can buy it for a buck. It. Yeah, we have it. Like right. it's amazing that that's even mm -hmm. still available to us today. That we can right. read what they were writing with the people who learned from right. the apostles. And, it's amazing. and it's it's the universal church. It's exactly mm -hmm. you know it. We're we're able to to take part in the universal church today so much more than they were. You know yeah. you know if 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 our brothers over over in China are 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 you know, failing, they know that they're part of something greater where, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you're in Alexandria, in Egypt at the time when, you know, uh, you know, Carthage is burning or, or, you know, the Roman occupation could be coming in, you know, hey, you know, hey, we're at the end of Christianity, right? Because we haven't experienced any outside, you know, influence yep. from, from other people. Like we have the Bible and that's about it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, Athanasius got kicked out. And so, you know, <laughs> what are we to do? And right. so, yep. you know, it, it's just, it's just awesome that, that we're able to, you know, read people and in, in, in different contexts and different, in, in different settings. And, right. you know, you, you can, you know, read about what does God say about screen time and our children? And, you know, there are biblical principles to pull from, but it's also really cool to see, you know, hey, uh, what, what was uh, Calvin facing when he got kicked out of, mm -hmm. you know, his congregation and, you yeah. know, he wrote letters. And so we can take part in understanding, you know, the, the universal church and the history of it. And we just need to kind of look back more than, you know, two weeks for our I love that. That's such a good, like, it's so good to be reminded of that because like people to read about the reformers and, and people in the faith, that they kept the faith mm -hmm. onto death and we're reading from them. And, yeah. and I remember someone mentioned that before to, to read about more about the Puritans and reformers and, and really hear from people that kept the faith through their entire life. Yeah, I, I mean, um, just, just, just with, with like the reformers, how, mm -hmm. how do you have like, stuff like stapled to your tongue how, how do you how do you survive 14 years in in a in a dark cell because you wouldn't baptize your children you, right. you know like I, how can i say like well you know an atheist was mean to me on, online and you know it's making me question <laughs> my faith like I, I don't know how i would survive you know like Mm -hmm. death knocking at my door with a black plague, children dying, uh, you know, my wife possibly dying because of childbirth, but I need 17 kids in order to like continue the family. And, and, and on yeah. top of all that, say, you know, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I can do that when, you know, my boss yells at me, but can I do that <laughs> when I'm like, you know, my limbs are being chopped off and I'm being hunted? Like, right. like I, I'm, I'm right. able to be blessed by people who did and it's possible and mm -hmm. that that's amazing and it, you know it it goes back to our apologetics like you know would the apostles have given their life for a lie and you know they didn't make any money off of it so th they're a terrible pyramid scheme yeah um, no. <laughs> <laughs> i've never heard it like that that's so funny <laughs> yeah they didn't get a whole lot from um from the world <laughs> there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, some uh crucifixions upside down and whatnot but yeah <laughs> right. I love that too because it really helps as well whenever you're dealing with cults or um false false churches things like that if you if you have a little bit of a, a historical knowledge alongside like some logic and and some philosophy if if um if somebody comes to my door and knocks and they're you know wearing a white t-shirt and a tie ordinarily they're going to be telling me things about history that are not true and it's the same at the catholic church if, I, if somebody from the um the roman catholic church comes to my blog and they're wanting to argue with me it's usually historically um inaccurate what they're saying so it, it helps to have that sort of a bigger scheme and it also helps like you were saying becca with encouragement because mm -hmm. we do have this 
we have this 2000 years of history of watching <laughs> God miraculously save these wretched sinners and then bring them through faithfully, even in <clears throat> these, like you were saying, like stapling the tongue. 